Broad-based black economic empowerment is the process which was devised by representatives of business, labor, and government engaging as South Africa's three social partners. The intention of Triple BEE was to positively and significantly address three categories of South Africans. The first was that of existing black workforces, existing employees whose working life potential and destiny has historically been significantly hampered by the history of this country. Then the focus of Triple BEE was to look at the future workforce, devising ways of making it easier and more logical for previously disadvantaged black matriculants and school leavers to enter the workforce and to be provided with opportunities to become gainfully employed in ways in which their parents and their older generations simply did not know. And finally, Triple BEE was intended to benefit and to create opportunities for the extended families and communities within which the black employees lived, circulated, and for whom they were responsible. And hence the term broad-based black economic empowerment, and equally perhaps another term commonly used today, and that of black tax. In 2003, the first Triple BEE scorecard was promulgated. Ten years later, in 2010, it was updated by the three social partners. And last year, in 2019, June, the third version of the Triple BEE scorecard was gazetted into law. Three scorecards over 17 years, not exactly moving the goalposts. The latest version of the Triple BEE scorecard goes further than ever before to operationalize the aspirations of the founding fathers and mothers of Triple BEE to encourage and to reward businesses for addressing issues of black ownership of the economic sector, to ensure that management control by people of color and particularly black and black disabled South Africans in, in our economic sectors, skills development and specifically the creation of future black labor pools, procurement from black businesses, thereby opening the supply chain up to previously barred male, female and disabled black entrepreneurial participants, and finally, Triple BEE addresses opportunities for business owners to invest 1% of their net profit after tax for the benefit of broader social economic upliftment and thereby partnering with government in addressing the eyesore of social deficiencies in this country which may impact on job creation and economic empowerment of our wider communities which historically were left marginalized and neglected. The more observant amongst us may say that business, labor, and government agreed in 2000 that white businesses must shoulder its part of the national challenge to ensure that previously barred and marginalized black entrepreneurs should be able to buy into and own existing businesses. That black managers with potential should have the opportunity to be recognized in the workplace. That white businesses should shoulder its industrial and sectoral responsibility for funding fees must fall that white suppliers cannot any longer monopolize the supply chain, and that the social conscience of white business, which it was common cause benefited disproportionately before 1994 and to date, must be harnessed because government cannot transform society for the better on its own.